Let's quickly find out just how effective the ejectors and collector blocks are. So for the large grid what you use as an ejector is the connector. And I guess what you use as a collector is well collector. That's it. No real other options. But for the small grid you have multiple choices. So you have let's plop this down here. Let's actually plop this down like this. What you have is you can either use a connector or you can use a small ejector. And I guess for collecting stuff, still a collector. So let's just find out how effective these things are. Let's power it up. And we will turn them both off at the start. On the connector for it to work, you put collect you put collect all and throw out. It will pull everything inside of it and throw it all out. And if you're what if you want to sort stuff that you want to eject this, what you do is put a sorter first and then the ejector. And make sure right. On the connector, collect all throughout. But on the sorter, do not enable drain all. There's no need for that. And then whitelist the stone. Or whatever you want to eject. Uh, but yeah, let's start this. Let's first of all test how fast the collectors are. And let's do it with pretty much just anything. Let's do it with stone. And there we go, big old chunk of stone. Let's copy it over and let's make a pit so it falls in much better. Oh, it's. Didn't I disable it? Okay, I thought that I disabled this. I guess I didn't. Let's toggle everything off. Alright, let's check this again. Stone. Let's get the timer going. We want to measure it for 10 seconds. Right, collector on and off. Right, so how much stuff did we get? 43, 43,000 liters. Okay. Alright, well, let's see how much stuff the ejector can eject in the meanwhile. Alright, it seems the Connector has ejected around 15 to 20 thousand liters of stone, which makes it pretty much two times slower than a collector. So for the large grid, what you will want to do is have a ratio of, I guess, two ejectors per one collector or the collecting system. Right, well, let's try doing the same on the small grid then. Alright, let's put a magnetic plate so it doesn't flip over. And the small collector has collected around 10,000. Okay, so the small collector is around four times slower than the large one. Let's compare their inventory sizes. That's a really weird number. Not very rounded up. Don't like that. Alright, so let's see. For the large collector, it's 6250. And what about the small? 1575. Okay, so inventories are four times. The inventory on the small one is four times smaller than the large one, too. So, okay. It is four times slower. Let's see now what the speed on the ejection with the connector will be. I am interested in that. Okay. Let's see now how much stone we lost. 3000. So this sink, this sink then is pretty much three times slower than what the collector can pick up on the large grid. Okay. And let's test out the small ejector now. And let's see what are the results. Barely anything. So the small ejector is like 10 times slower than the large connector. 
So do not use these, these are very bad. Use connectors as ejectors instead. Because for the same amount of PCU, they provide 10 times more ejection speed. And in terms of collection speed, use one collector per every two connectors on the large grid and one collector per three ejectors. Connectors, I mean, on the large grid. On the small grid, goddammit, I'm messing up my words a lot recently. Let's actually test that out on practice so we can be sure that it is actually working like that and we haven't messed up our calculations. So let's make somewhat of a fountain <laughs> stone fall. <laughs> Time for some stones to fall. All right, uh, let's try this. Two connectors, S collect all, throw out. No, I forgot to enable the, I forgot to enable the collector. All right, let's try this again. Enable the collector this time. Toggle block on and put stone in the system. Let's see if it's going to clog up or not this time. And no, it seems to be managing totally fine. But I bet if we add a third connector, then we are going to run into a problem. Yeah, now it's filling up. So that calculation was correct. <laughs> uh, this is so stupid. It looks so funny. All right, let's test out the large grid now. The small grid, god damn it, why do I keep messing up words? The small grid, it's a small grid. <laughs> Absolute chaos going on over there. All right, this sync is not the smoothest bit to, to collect stuff, but it should work, probably. Now let's add three connectors. That will be eating stone out. Collect all, throw out. And let's put in the stone in here and let's see what happens. Mm. Oh, I have misplaced the, con the conveyor. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Now it should be fixed. Yeah, it's working. Uh oh, I think we are overf overflowing actually. Is it even collecting anything? What exactly is happening? Why the collector isn't doing anything? Did I mess up? God damn it, I messed up the connection here too. How how did I manage to do that? How did I actually manage to do that? It's it's impressive, honestly. <laughs> right, there we go. It, <laughs> it's a stone sink. <laughs> oh, it looks so silly. Alright, let's try it again. Throw out, collect all. Put the stone and I forgot what power. Ah, damn it. How am I even managing to build anything? I'm not sure. Right, well, so far it seems to be keeping up, right? Is is this not keeping up or... Damn it, nothing is getting inside of it. Ah, I keep messing everything up for some reason. This is so annoying. Right, well, guess we have to raise it one block then. Right, if it's not going to work, I'm going to be angry. Uh, oh, damn it. Forgot to connect stuff properly again. Alright. It better work this time. There we go. Alright, is it keeping up? I think it is. Uh, no, we are actually overflowing. So you should probably use two connectors on the la on <laughs> small grid too. Okay. So the ratio is the ratio is two connectors per one collector then for all grids. Good to know. This is this is modern art. It's amazing. 